Right, people, welcome. Um, this is a bit more of a chilled Wednesday upload today. I'm in my renovated shed space that we call the den. It's my mum's space, really, but we've got a builder scraping moss off the roof of our house at the moment, and that'll be quite an obstructive noise to the video. So I'm in here. But you know what? It's quite a nice vibe. There's some nice stuff in here. So, yeah, I thought it was perfect. And uh, today I'm going to try and keep this as raw and uncut as possible. Uh, to be fully authentic and just like basically brain dump all of my ideas in video form because I want to elaborate on um, my first video on like what is the be an anomaly movement right because firstly I didn't want my first video to be really long because people are unlikely to watch um, a really long you know waffly video like this is going to be but this is sort of for those that watched that video and don't really understand um, what was going on about because you know that was my first video and even though like I'm not totally used to talking to a camera I'm much more used to it now than I was like that first day when I first started recording um so yeah I want to elaborate on the points that I make the videos that I make I make them because I need them like they are the videos that I want to watch they are the videos that I think I need to like better my life basically and I think that with the motivation that I make the videos for me, then I will help people that are in similar positions to me and like want to live great lives. In you know, to be honest, that's the that's the fundamentals of it. But the main point that I wanted to stress in this video compared to the one that I made initially is that being an anomaly is not about what you do, it's about how you do it. You can have a very simple like job, you know, you can be very like you could be not successful on like the material world level, but you can be an anomaly in how you take on that role in your life. For example, like nothing against this job, I'm probably gonna go and do it next summer to earn some money, is working in a supermarket, right? Like that, I think we can agree, is not considered a really successful career, right? But if you do that in a way with so much enthusiasm, and so much love and so much positivity for life, then you can make it great. Like every time you interact with someone, you have an opportunity to leave a positive mark on the world around you. And a job like that, you're interacting with people all the time, whether it's just a smile. And you can do that and be an anomaly that way. It's, it's, not, it's not like a title of, yes, I went and did this in my life, so I'm an anomaly. It's no, I, I lived my life this way. I wanted to place a positive mark on the world. I wanted to be authentic and not feel pressured by social expectations or the expectations that we th how, of how we think we should live rather than how we actually want to live. Every situation you take on in your life and every circumstance you find yourself in, you aim to leave a positive mark on it. You aim to do it differently. You aim to do it authentically. You don't just do what you think someone would do or that you should do. You do what it actually feels like you should do inside. It's about thinking differently, thinking outside of the box. In fact, you're in a different realm to that box. You're in a completely different level. You're in a different room. Do you know what I mean? You're, you're carving your own path through life. And that, that uncertainty can be quite scary because if you don't know what you're going to be doing, there's no one before you that's carved that path for you to follow. It, there is serious uncertainty there. But you have to trust yourself to carve your own path. Go on your own journey. You know, live a life that hasn't been lived before. Because essentially no one is ever going to be you. Like you and your experiences are yours alone. And we can craft them. As life is long, like, Life is both short and long, but essentially like time, we have so much time on earth. And I think if you don't get caught in ruts and you like always approach life with enthusiasm and always want to create new things and have new experiences, you can build like a brilliant path for yourself that no one has ever carved before. Doing what you actually want to do and living in authenticity are so difficult. I mean, maybe doing what you want to do is easier, but living in authenticity is a lot more difficult. Like, if you can be yourself, and you don't really know who you are, but if you can sort of be in that state where you feel like you're not 
conforming to any pressure. And if you can do that in every social situation, you know, any circumstance you find yourself in, to me, that is the definition of like self-actualization. Like you know who you are and you are the same you in every single social situation that you're in. Like that to me is when you have like, you are completely comfortable in yourself as you do not have to change the way you are. You don't have to reshape how you appear for any like particular circumstance. That is like, to me, like that is deep authenticity. And that is like what life is about. Like that is, the, in a way, that's one of the meanings of life. Like there is many, but I think one main one is to like, find out who you are through experiencing things and then be that person through every experience. That is like top quality life experiences, I think. And when you're being anomaly like, you recognize life as the gift that it is. I feel like I might be wrong, but like from my, you know, very short experience on this life so far, like many people take it for granted because they're just alive all the time. If that, you know, that, that sounds stupid, but it's true. Like once you get used to something, like this is my life, like it just becomes, it just sort of fades into the background and you don't really bring to the foreground the fact that I'm alive. Like. I could be I could be not here right now and I'm here right now and that's an amazing thing like the fact you're here right now is crazy of all the probabilities of you know evolutionary past and the life cycle of the earth and all of these things like the fact that you are alive like living your experience right now is absolutely mind blowing and the anomalous mindset is to recognize that and see life as the gift that it is like seize the day in every single opportunity that you have. Like, if you have a dream, like, actually just go for it, man. Like, like realistic dreams, obviously, but, like, have a high aim, man, because, like, life, life gives you that opportunity. You have so much time. You're so, like, the modern world that we live in now, if, you, if you're watching my video, like, you definitely have the resources to live a sick life if you apply yourself. Like, I believe that more than anything, probably. If you can, if you're watching my video right now, you have opportunities in your life pretty much every day to take it up to that next level, whether it's how you view it or the choices that you can make in that day. The reason I call like the movement being anomaly is because the people that recognize the gift of life like, have a high aim and it's a high positive aim and they like leave that positive mark on the world, even if they don't achieve the highest aim, like just the progress towards it is enough. Like those people are very few and far between. Like they are the minority, like they're the anomalies. They are the unexpected data that comes up because that's what an anomaly is at the end of the day. Like it's, it's an outlier and a set of data. Like if you took everyone in the world, or well, everyone in the West, everyone in modern society, like, and you looked at their lives and how they approached their lives, like not what they did, but how they did it, like how they interacted with people, how they viewed the things that were going on. And you found the people who chose positivity, chose for a high aim, chose to do the right thing. Like they would be anomalies from my experience. Like that's how I went, that's how I like view it from interacting with people. Like, and one of the greatest things about like being an anomaly and know living life in a certain positive way is that like you can choose to do it right now like there's no external condition of like when I get to this age or when I get this qualification or when I feel this way it's literally a choice it's literally deciding to like do the right thing do the positive thing even though it's not easy and that choice like that choice is so difficult to make because you know, you've got the pull, you've got the pull of like the rest of society pulling you in and wanting you to like think a certain way about life, think a certain way about yourself. But like, we can look beyond that. The mindset towards life, like the human mind has like no boundaries, like there is no upper limit to how happy we can be like the positive mark we can leave on the world, how high we can aim, like how much we can affect people in a positive way. There is no limit to that, that is endless. Like that doesn't stop. 
Like, there's not a point in life where you finish and you think, right, I'm done. Because that's just not how it works. Like, we always need to be taking ourselves to the next level to, like, maintain a good well-being. Like, the way to feel good in life is to keep growing. Like, life, life itself is a path of growth. Like, and the anomaly mindset is seeing that, recognizing that and thinking like, I need to choose, I need to carve my own path towards growth, grow in my own unique way, like, do the things I want to do authentically, like, not just what I expect myself to do or what people expect me to do, like, what I actually feel is right. It's like a deeper, it's a deeper feeling inside. It's like from the real like depths of your being, man. I, I just think, I think so passionately about this, like, I think, if people adopt the idea that like their potential has no limits, no matter what circumstance you're in, like your potential for growth doesn't stop. Like if your life, your life can turn around drastically just by a choice in the mind, just by like thinking a different way, the whole like texture of your life, your external reality can completely change. I have this deep, deep like passion inside me to like get the word out there to people that your life is sick. Like life itself is a gift. Like no matter what circumstance, because everyone lives in not ideal circumstances. No life is ideal, but every life is a gift because we could not be here right now. You know, like you could, you could. I mean, it's very unlikely, but you could die tomorrow you could and that is why like seizing the day being an anomaly doing things with enthusiasm with positivity trying to make the world a better place in tiny little ways that you can doing what's right and not what is easy that is how to create an amazing life that is how to carve your own path and that is what the be an anomaly movement really means i think my shed ramblings for today are done and i hope that the ideas from my first video um, have been elaborated on and you sort of understand it a bit more and, and can go about your life and like just have a sick one. That's what I just want for everyone, like just have a great time. And you know, that doesn't mean just like indulge in instant gratification. That means like work towards like the best version of you, like the best version of you and the best life you can have. Move towards that. Because even if you don't get there exactly, your life will improve on the journey, on the path. So yeah, man, like just, just, you can make the choice right now. Just decide right now that your life is going to be different. Like you are going to leave a original positive mark on the world, no matter what you do, no matter how small, like no matter how small your positive mark is, it is significant. It is absolutely significant. Like it is the most important choice you will make is how you live, how you think, how you interact with people, how you decide to view your life. It is so unbelievably important. If you did enjoy um, my ramblings, then I suggest you join the movement. Like, join me, like seriously. Like, I wanna look back 10 years and look at the videos I made right now and think this was the start. This was the start where I got the movement out there. So join me and subscribe to this channel because the content that I make is about this idea of living a great life, living the best life you can possibly imagine. So subscribe down below if you're up to the challenge of joining the Be An Anomaly movement. And all that's left to say is that like, I love you all, man. All people are great. Life is sick. Enjoy yourself. Have a great week. And I'll see you next time. I just hope you come back next time, man. And, and, and but join this, like, join this journey that we're all on together, man. Carving our own path doing great things, living a sick life. So I'll see you all next time for more.